A multi-million dollar exploration is underway. These heavy machines are carrying out a geological survey that involves vibrating the earth to accurately map the underlying geology for drilling oil and gas wells. The Zambezi Valley Basin in Muzarabani, about 300 kilometers northeast of Zimbabwe's capital, Harare, is believed to be one of the largest underexplored interior rift basins on the African continent. Expectations have been high since the American oil giant ExxonMobil surveys done in the early 1990s. There will be millions of barrels of oil discovered in a commercial field and trillions of cubic feet of gas. The exact quantities at the mo out there we don't actually know. That will only be established once we drill and start to develop the field. The Zimbabwe government and Invictus Energy signed a petroleum exploration development and production agreement earlier this year. Invictus Energy has since been granted rights to develop petroleum production in the southern African nation over the next 25 years. Estimates say up to over 250 billion cubic meters of gas and more than 200 million barrels of oil could be in the area. But environmentalists are worried that the project will contribute to climate change. When I see oil um, coming out of that area, I think people are going to be displaced. I see the land is going to be heavily polluted. And when I think of gas, natural gas, I also think of emission um, of, 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 of um, heat trapping uh, gases that are going to accelerate global warming. But Invictus Energy argues it is concentrating its efforts on natural gas, a cleaner option for generating electricity, an option which could lead to energy independence for Zimbabwe. If we do make a discovery, it will, be, it will change the economy of Zimbabwe completely. Just imagine, there will be no more electricity power cuts, you know, the easiest thing for us to do is to generate electricity and send it to the rest of the, uh, the nation. We can do that. Like in other parts of the world, Zimbabwe wants to end its over-reliance on fossil fuels like coal to generate electricity. Zimbabwe is targeting an ambitious $12 billion mining economy by 2023, but it all depends on the country's energy self-sufficiency.